Hello and welcome to the first tutorial uh, video of the building system. Today we're gonna go and get in touch with the foundation. We're gonna create the complete project uh, from the scratch and let's start with it. Um, for the first you need to create a complete node project. You can do this with file and new project. I've already done this. And after this we're gonna create um, three folders and these are scripts folder prefabs and the material folders Oops. materials and after this we are gonna create um, a plane this is our foundation or not our foundation our um, or terrain more or less I w like to work with a plane in the example and uh, let's name it foundation um, terrain and then we already have a directional light just place it here like it is here now and the camera camera has to be positioned right I like it more uh, as a top down you also can have something different like uh, the person view or something like this but I guess as a presenta presentation it's easier to have a top-down version okay after this um, we need our foundation which we're gonna create and uh, it's not a plane it's a cube actually so I drag it down there, let's zero it all and the train as well so that we have everything fine. We have a cube here and let's take a look at it. Um, our foundation um, probably is a bit bigger, so let's change it to 0 .5, uh, 0 0.2 and like, uh, let's say 2x2 two two as the size. This is fine, I guess. Okay. Oh, the camera position is wrong now. Let's take it a bit higher. Oh, this is nice. Okay, uh, let's call it foundation. Um, yeah, and also zero it so it's on the ground when we want to place it. Okay, after this we need. Yeah, actually I want to have a material on it. We create a material and co uh, call it as well foundation so that we have different colors from the plane and the foundation itself. Um, I want to have a legacy, sh not a legacy shader. Oh, a legacy shader bump diffuse and I want to have a different color. I don't know, like, like uh, it's not really brown, it's more red, but okay. Just drag it on the, on the foundation and save it in the prefabs folder. And now we have our foundation. I just delete it now and okay. So now we're gonna create our scripts and we go in our scripts folders and create our building manager. Oops, uh, this was not intended. Delete it again. Create building manager. Um, this building manager will be for everything which is related to the buildings, so how it's um, how the name is called. So um, okay, so we double click it and take all the comments out. We don't need our start function in this thing. Okay, what do we need? So what do we want? So actually we want something like a hotbar so when we press uh, the key number one we're gonna instantiate our, our pr uh, foundation. Uh, so this is pretty easy we just need to ask if uh, if we press a button if get key input get key down key code oops, is alpha one then we want to instantiate our foundation and we do it with instantiate actually we need our our prefab so we're gonna call it public game object foundation prefab and then we instantiate it 
so foundation prefab on the position actually the position um, is not very interesting at the moment here we just say vector 3.0 and the criterion or the the rotation is isn't uh, necessary as well so we just call the the rotation of the game object itself so foundation prefab so the foundation prefab dot uh, transform dot rotation. So we save it, and we're gonna create an, an empty game object where we attach this script to, and we call it building manager as well. Attach it to the oops building manager. So we save it. And now we go to the prefabs folder, just drag and drop it into this into this field. And when we start now, and press one, we see there's this foundation, but we cannot work with it. So actually, it's just on the ground. Uh, we cannot move it around or place it or whatever. So this is what we need to change now. And actually, there's an also another error. Uh, when we press 10 times 1 now you see there are all foundations. Actually we only want to place one foundation when we press once 1. So not like when we press twice uh, 1, we only want to have one foundation. So actually we have to ask if there's already a foundation. Oops. This is the wrong. Sorry. And this we're gonna do it with um, in public static boolean. So actually we just write something like this: public static bool is is building, and it's default false. So actually, if we didn't, uh, c yeah, if we are not building, um, we're gonna instantiate our foundation. When we have instantiated it, it we don't want to uh, create another game objects like the foundation so we set it as true and now the bug should be fixed let's see it you see i'm pressing one and nothing happens anymore so okay this works okay after this we want to move the foundation around and have the ability to place the foundation um we're gonna do this uh, we're gonna create a new script we call it foundation and we're gonna attach it to the prefab before before we forget it foundation and now we're gonna go into the script reload all it's fine yes this Okay, what do we need in our foundation? So actually, I said already, um, we want to place the foundation, or we want to move the uh, move it around. When we press one, it's got just getting instantiated, and we want to move it around. Uh, so we just go in our our up update function, and we ask if this foundation is already placed. If it is not we want to move it around so actually we need our bool is placed um, and if it's not placed we want to move it around it's placed so just let me comment it as long as it um, as it is not placed it should flow the mouse Oops. Okay, we do it with raycast. So actually, I only want to um, I only want to have this uh, foundation following the mouse when we are on the terrain, and not when we are outside of the game. So we do it with raycast. Um, I guess this is the easier way. Camera dot main dot screen point ray and we need our input dot mouse position Oops, not. ray cast hit it's hit and if we hit something um, We just uh, when we hit the the foundation or something, we want to have this 
pos uh, the position of the foundation at the new position. So actually, the it's only um, so the foundation just follows the mouse. Um, dot x and zero. We want it on the ground. We don't want to have the the height in it. And this should be it. So now it's just getting follow. Uh, it should follow the mouse now. I'm pressing one. You see the mouse is just following it. And when I'm outside, uh, you see it's not working. Okay. So the problem is uh, we are not placing the the object. So actually we need to left click on it and say yeah this place is true. So actually we only need um, so we want to place um, by pressing the, the left mouse button oops mouse button and we're gonna do it with the if condition input dot key down I uh, got mouse button down zero we say is placed as true. You see now it's getting placed and this should be it. Our problem is now that we... No, it's not our problem. Okay, what we do we need as well. Um, we need to say or we need to call the... call the... the building manager that we are building. So actually we just say building manager dot is building is as, is as true when we when when it's not uh, when we are building. So actually when we, we when we have instantiated the foundation it's just true and when we place it it's false because actually we are not building anymore. Save it. And it should be it. You see, there's a second one, which I can instantiate now, but there's no snapping system at the moment. This is what we're gonna do in the next step. Um, this uh, will be a lot more work. This is pretty much uh, only the basics, but uh, this is how it works now. We can place it now here, the second one, but uh, actually it doesn't snap. Um, yeah, I hope you like it, uh, how far it went now. Um, Feel free to, uh, to follow me on Twitter um, and follow me on Facebook or whatever and I hope you like it. See you to the next video. Bye.